And I remember um, sitting in a hospital bed and just asking myself the question, why? Why has God brought me to this place after I've done so much for Him? You know, I started to pray more often when I graduated high school. I prayed about what career He wanted me to be in. And I also changed my major to become a pastor. And now I was just sitting in a hospital room, unable to do anything anymore. So I was born in the church. My family was Seventh-day Adventist the moment I was born. And this was pretty exciting for me. I always knew about God. My parents always told me about stories in the Bible, but I never really made Jesus my personal savior. I got baptized when I was eight years old. And I think a lot of it was the influence of other kids around me. And it was really exciting to look at them getting baptized. And so I pursued the same thing. I always loved Jesus. I don't think I ever did it out of a, I don't know, a negative a desire in my mind. But I do realize that when I got baptized, I didn't really keep pursuing God. I remember that night I said to myself after I was baptized, I'm never gonna mess up again. I'm never gonna sin again. And obviously that was not the case. I went to public school my whole life. And I realized that I didn't really have a plan for what I was going to continue doing. I knew I had a talent with film production and photography. And so I said to myself, maybe I can go to a school and, and get a degree in that, in, in the arts or something. I did a tour at Southern Adventist University. I had some people mention the school to me. And since I'm Adventist, I was like, yeah, I'll go check it out. But after the tour happened, I was placed in a meeting with the admissions department. And that's when I realized I was not really qualified to get into the school. The admissions team basically told me that I wasn't gonna be able to go to Southern because of my grades. And so I prayed for the first time in my life. I prayed about something I cared about. Two weeks went by and I got a letter in the mail. I opened it and the letter explained that they would give me a shot to enroll at the school if I was able to prove myself by getting good grades during the summer session. So I got the chance to go to Southern. My parents dropped me off about a week and a half later. The semester goes by, that summer session is over and I finished with really, really good grades. I was so happy and Southern allowed me to enroll full-time that fall semester. I studied uh, film production as my major that semester, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed the things that I was doing, but I had to ask myself the question, am I in the field that he has planned for me? Is this the calling that he really wants over my life? So I started to pray again, and I this time prayed, God, tell me specifically what you want me to do with my career. I prayed for a long time and I started to feel an impression of God asking me to study theology at the school. I never thought that I would be a pastor. Two semesters into being at school, I changed my major. I didn't know too much about the Bible, but God used me as I was. I was doing great in my classes, feeling comfortable with um, learning how to preach, learning how to do Bible studies, but then came another challenge. Summer came around and I started to feel really sick. I felt a tingly sensation specifically in my toes and I thought maybe I had just done a lot of exercise or I was running around a lot and maybe I was just tired. That tick, tingly or tickly sensation went up from my toes to my feet and then up to my legs. And I started to 
walk with a struggle. I was kind of like walking with a limp and I didn't know what was wrong. And so my family is like, Brian, we're taking you to the hospital. Got to the hospital and they did some tests on me. They weren't quite sure what was wrong. And so they decided to have me stay in the hospital for just one more week. And I said, you know what? It might be for the best. If I miss one week of school, not a big deal. My professors can accommodate things and everything will be all right. But a week turned into two, two turned into three, until I finally spent 50 days in the hospital. They diagnosed me with an illness called Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is an autoimmune disease that attacks your nervous system. Basically, I became paralyzed from head to toe as a result of this illness. And I remember um, sitting in a hospital bed and just asking myself the question, why? Why has God brought me to this place after I've done so much for Him? You know, I started to pray more often when I graduated high school. I prayed about what career he wanted me to be in. And I also changed my major to become a pastor. And now I was just sitting in a hospital room, unable to do anything anymore. I felt really angry and bitter towards God because I, I felt like he betrayed me. I remembered the prayers that I had several months back and several years back of trusting in God. And I said, you know what? There's no other way to move forward again. If I prayed about my major, how much more will God be able to respond when I pray about my own health, my own safety? And God started to do miracles in my life. One day after being completely still, I mean paralyzed head to toe, I was able to move my fingers again while in the hospital. A couple of days later, I moved my arms for the first time. I lifted them up and the doctors were so surprised. They said that they had never seen someone recover so quickly as I was doing. And I started to realize that God really did care about me. And he cared about me not only when I'm like in my prime, but also during the moments where I'm struggling a lot too. I eventually got out the hospital. Um, I did about four months of physical therapy to get back in shape. And today I'm 100% better. I don't even take like one pill or medication for the illness that happened to me. I'm grateful for what God has done because I've actually seen with my own eyes that He cares about me. The calling of, of being a pastor was still over my life when I was struggling. And I think um, anyone who feels the need to be accepted, feels the need to find a higher calling, a purpose in their life can find it in God. And so that's been my experience. I'm really glad that He's been able to use me in my struggles and my relationship with Him has deepened ever since then. I'm so excited to see what he can do next.